Never know who you're gonna get. You can get Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, happy Halloween. We are here at Tweetsie for our last night of the 13 Nights of Halloween. Videos. Videos. Yes. Yeah. We are actually here though on Friday the 13th. Yes. So it's, it gets make it extra spooky since we can't be here for Halloween, since they're not open for Halloween itself. Yep. So. We are here for Friday the 13th in yep. October. So, um, I hope you enjoyed all of our videos and we're going to go see the ghost train today for all our Tweetsie fans. This is like our favorite time to come to Tweetsie. So, yeah, <laughs> just, the, just overall the fall and this time of the year is just great. Yeah. So, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Walking in. Yeah, again. Just Are you ready for the ghost train?
All right, guys. It is time for the haunted house here at Tweetsie Ghost Train. As we're waiting on our nine o'clock train departure.
go. I'll be done. Right, Something scared them day. werewolves away. What could have done that? the wall to the barnyard.
Yeah. Oh, thank you. I died for it to look this good. <laughs> now, on account of the rain we've been having, you might encounter some fog and some flashing lights. Are you ready for that? Yep. Good. Now, I've got lots of friends in there. Can you believe it? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this was not the closing we were hoping for on this video. Um, it is Friday the 13th, so of course something had to happen. Our key fob for our car fell off well, somewhere in the park. Somewhere. We don't know where. Mm -hmm. So they were nice enough to try to look on the train and in the haunted house and the haunted forest and all over they, they in the dark. Don't going to be oh they didn't look yet well anyways so, but... they tried to look for us yeah. and didn't find it so um the nice medic slash um security guard named sean helped us out and 
drove us to a hotel nearby um, and we're spending the night in there. Hopefully they're gonna look forward to the morning and we're gonna call AAA and just kind of try to figure it out. But anyways, so shout out to Sean. Also, we met the owner of Tweetsie. Yeah, well, that's the so first. So very briefly, um, that was that was, you know, new. But um, anyways, so outside of that, now on, on to the uh, visit of the park. It's the overall theming was still great. I mean, yeah, they did a good job. I thought the was, ghost train was really good this year. I liked it. Yeah, this was definitely better. Like the last time we were at the ghost train was two years ago, and I mean it was a decent show, a little bit better than I have had in the past. But this was still, this kind of brings me back to how the train was a little bit more. Yeah. So I and mean, it was also werewolf themes. So, I mean, it just made it. A little bit more of a classic monster than just zombies like it was two years ago. Yeah. Um, love the haunted house. The freaky forest was probably the best besides the train ride, of course. Yeah, yeah that, that chainsaw guy at the freaky forest was doing extra. He was, yeah. He was, he was really going. Yeah. Um, also, shout out Sean, the guy that helped us and drove us here. Um, he has a YouTube channel, so we're going to link it down below. Um, oh, yeah. They do like homesteading and stuff, but um, so check it out. yeah, check that out and like and subscribe and catch us next time. Happy Halloween! Later. Do the same recording. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So we one more update for you. They uh, conducted a massive search party at Tweetsie for our key fob. Massive. Well, you know. They were really good, you know, to us for yeah, it. It's, it's so. called, uh, they looked at where we told them <laughs> that we, I was at. So they were like, oh yeah, we're just going to look where you Yeah. At. But they looked, you know, looked again this morning. Anyway, they found it somewhere around the freaky forest, Hacienda area. So it was in the gravel. So we got our key fob and we are in our car. We stopped back by the park and we went ahead and rode the train again this morning. But that was our adventure for... Ghost train. Ghost Friday train. the 13th. Yes. Great experience. So, but, I mean, it, they, it was really, I mean, I'm glad at least that they were nice enough to look so hard for it for us. So, um, yeah, that was, that was it. And we're going to, we didn't show you the treats that we got. Um, I got four things because I was apparently hungry when I went into the fudge shop. So, we got a witch's hat, which I'm not really sure. Um, yes, I'll take it. It got a little bit cracked on the the transport but a witch's hat chocolate i'm not sure what the base is but we'll uh we'll bite into it and see and then a witch's finger what what the heck is this i don't it's like candy coated pretzel stick i think is what it is and then it's got an almond fingernail so it's a witch's finger along with the witch's hat okay <laughs> i'll take a bite of it first if it's good i'll let you have the rest well, you can have the walnut part, but that's about it's, it. That's an almond, not a walnut. A walnut would be a very messed up. Oh, and then we got an eyeball. It said it was a truffle. She said it was really chocolatey, so. <laughs> Throw it up quicker. That would be pulling around. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. And then last thing we got was a ghost pretzel, which she said, she's like, I think it looks more like an owl, the lady at the yeah, fudge shop. Yeah, this is not. But what, it's, it's. Screams I ghost think, to me. It goes, I think it's. It's a ghost owl, then. It's a ghosty it's a, owl. It's a hoot and holler. It, it belongs in <laughs> hoot owl holla at Do Dollywood. <laughs> so, anyway. Do you want to, which one do you want to try first? You want me to try the witch's finger? Yeah, or you want to bite into I'll it? I'll let you know I bite into it. Okay, right? I'll bite into the almond part. I'll take the almond fingernail. Oh, there's more almonds inside. Oh, lovely. I think it's like... I don't think it's pretzel, then it's almond. Yeah, it's not almond. Well, it's more Homemade like Snickers. Kind of vaguely like a Snickers. I mean, it's good. It's missing mm -hmm. the chocolate. I think it needs more chocolate. But... Caramel. Yeah, it's definitely caramel. Do you want to bite into the pretzel or the almond? Um, the eyeball first. We do the, uh, you can do the apple. Okay. I'll bite into the eyeball first. Mm. I still got caramel in my teeth. Yeah, that one's definitely chocolatey. It reminds me of a Russell Stover, like one of the chocolate truffle things. 
It's not bad. It's a little bit sweet. You're like, no, that's bad. No, it's not bad. Oh, you made a face. Well, that face is because it's so sweet. It is really sweet. It smacks you in the face. <laughs> All right, you you try Maybe the pretzel. the finger again. <laughs> Get some of the sweetness out. <laughs> Maybe the caramel again, because then it's like, hmm, maybe it'll mix well now. Yeah, turn it into a Snickers. So you got the chocolate here and the caramel here. <laughs> it made it better. <laughs> oh, you want me to bite into the pretzel first? I think it's. Just, I think this is just a white chocolate covered pretzel, to be honest. Yeah. This is really good. I'm still chewing. I love white chocolate covered pretzels. They're like one of my favorite little treats. Sweet and salty. Should have just been into this. Yeah, that one's good. <laughs> All right, I don't know what the witch's hat is. Do you want to try the witch's hat first? You can do it. Ladies first. All right, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try the bottom part. I have a feeling this is an Oreo, but. It doesn't look like an Oreo. Oh, it's a fudge stripe cookie, I think. That is a waffle cone. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a fudge stripe cookie with a, a tiny, like the end of a waffle cone stuck on it. It's hard to tell. It's some kind of vanilla tasting cookie. Yeah. And it's not a might not be a fudge stripe, but it's like kind of like that cookie base that they yeah. have. It's like a vanilla cookie, and then you have the chocolate, so it tastes like a fudge stripe to me. The witch's hat's pretty good. It's got a walnut in it. <laughs> a walnut or... Uh, what? And maybe that might actually be chocolate. That's chocolate. Is it chocolate? Yeah. Okay. See? Oh, yeah. Let's see. You would have made that better? Well, it was ice cream. <laughs> yeah. It would have melted, though. They could have had frosting that tasted like ice cream. All right. So that was our treats. That was our adventure. Hope y'all enjoyed watching. But, yeah, if you ever lose your keys at Tweetsie, make sure you, you know, tell them because they'll look for you. Oh, yeah. They, they found ours. I mean, we had no idea in the park where we lost it besides either on the train, in the haunted house, or in the freaky forest, or somewhere in between. So... They were they were pretty good to us. Well, and also, we met the owner of Tweetsy when we left last night at like midnight because the park closed at what ten thirty. Yeah, uh, the park closes about eleven o'clock. Yeah, the last train ride was at ten thirty. So the um, the guy that gave us a ride back to the hotel was helped us search outside the park, like kind of around the road area and the road area that we take to uh get the shot for the trestle yeah so right before we left the owner of tweetsy came up and was like hey y'all okay and like kind of checked in and i was like oh that was something different <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching guys